that's what I want to give back to you. So thank you for showing up tonight. Thanks. I do want to tell you that uh, we've done a bunch of screenings, and this is the largest, most rocket ass screening. were found by this woman, Nicole Pritchett. Um, and she's our, she's our incredibly talented associate producer. Say hello real quick. Hi, Miami. I know that this movie uh, incites thought, uh, feelings, emotions, and, and you don't necessarily have to see and meet it uh, in every concept or idea, but we want to talk about it. Coleman taught me something about the beauty of conversation. Uh, you, you said that the mystics, the Sufi mystics, believe there's three ways of approaching the divine. Uh, me meditation, a step up from that is prayer, a step up from that is conversation. So we're gonna have a conversation tonight quickly, because again, I know the yogurt people, I can feel the yogurt, you gotta go, I get it. But let's have a conversation and, and and see if we can't uh, convert each other to ideas. What do you think? Sounds good, yeah. Once, his, once he speaks, I, I just want to listen. Go. Uh, well, let's see. Maybe start off with a roomy boy. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just to get the conversation going. He says, I am so small. How can this great love be inside me? That's a big question. How can this great love? Then he answers it with a metaphor. Look at your eyes. They're small. But they see enormous things. Nobody got it. <laughs> That's all right. We don't want it to end. We don't want it to end. No, here's another one. Oh, let's see. When I meet the woman, would you propose for me? This is her first <laughs> That's right. Um, there is a light seed grain inside. You fill it with yourself or it dies. I'm caught in this curling energy. Your hair. Whoever is calm and sensible is insane. <laughs> I thank you, Norman Vincent Peale. You know, whoever is calm and sensible is insane. That's just not the, the appropriate uh, emotion, uh, not the appropriate way to be in this uh, universe. There's hope for me, then, I think. There's actually hope for me. Yeah, you know, there was a, a saying that um, inspired this movie, which is, uh, it's a Rumi saying from your translation, which is, we've got to split the sack of this culture and stick our heads out. And, and so much of what this is about is the teachings of the culture and how we have to split that sack to really see as the mystic saw. I had a conversation earlier. It's all about who, you know, with the answer to the question, who are you? And when you really dig deep, as the mystics did, and see who you really are, it's all good. Even the bad is good. So when, when we really, as a culture, begin to, uh, begin to evolve to that place, everything changes. The way we educate our economies, the way we do business with each other, the way we relate to each other, and the way we relate to the natural world. So we gotta start taking these spiritual ideas and walking them very practically.